Welcome friends, let's do a sketch for y prime is equal to negative 2 plus t minus y. So let's do a slope field for this differential equation. So how do you think about doing this? Well, you have two variables. You can try to assign different values, like a value to t, a value to y, but it's just going to give you a lot of dots. So let's think about it uh, as negative 2 plus t minus y is equal to 0. That and then here you can solve for t minus y. So it's going to tell you that t minus y is equal to positive 2. And then here, this is just graphing a line. So when t is 0, y is negative 2. Okay, so here t is equal to 0. And then y is 0. Then you have t equals positive 2. Now this is useful because you can make a sketch of it pretty quickly. And get some a wholesale view of what's happening very quickly. So this is t, this is y, the usual ty system. So here in this context, this is the slope value, 0. And this line, t minus y equals 2, goes through negative 2 and positive 2. So, so yeah, this is y. So this is going to be negative 2, and this is going to be positive 2, more or less. So then draw a line going this way, and along this line, the slope is always equal to 0, which means when you draw the lineal segments that kind of look like this, uh, they should be all made to look horizontal along the line. Okay. Then you can repeat this. So just take negative 2 plus t minus y, set it equal to a different value. For example, where is the value equal to negative 1? That's like saying the slope is always negative 1 on some line. So here's going to be t minus y is equal to negative 1 plus 2 is going to give you a positive 1. And then when t is 0, you're going to have negative y is equal to 1. So y is equal to negative 1. So that's about here. And then and y is equal to 0. What's left over is, let me separate these so we don't get confused. There you go. All right, when y is 0, then you're going to have t is equal to 1. So it looks like this, more or less, right? So kind of have a line that looks like this. Along this line, the slope is negative 1. So the slope segment, segments would look like the following. You see, they're negative, the slope of negative 1. All right, again, try something different now. So we have 0, we have negative 1, and to keep it somewhat organized, maybe try a positive slope value. So negative 2 plus t minus y, where does the slope always equal to positive 1? Again, right, by setting this to 1, you're saying where does the slope always equal to 1? And then solve, so it's going to be t minus y, 1 plus 2 is going to be 3, and then solve. So when t is 0, then y is negative 3, and then when y is 0, then t is equal to positive 3. So y would be right here. This is negative 3 in terms of y, negative 3. And then this is, let's see, t equals 3 is about here. So along this line, all the slopes would be equal to, let's see, positive 1. So they kind of look like this, okay? So at least based on what we see thus far, we can say that the solution probably will flow something along this, like this, right? Kind of like this. The solutions will flow that way. Now what happens below this line, so continue the process. So this is done. Let's see. Set the slope equal to, let's see, a net positive 2. So 2 is equal to negative 2 plus t minus y. So add 2, so it's going to be 4 is equal to t minus y. Now when t is 0, well, from y you're going to get y is equal to negative 4. So that's going to be like down here somewhere. And then when y is equal to 0, you're going to have, this is 4 now, when y is 0, it's going to be t is equal to positive 4. So that's about here. All right, so that's telling you that along this line, all the slopes will have a value equal to what did I make up here too. All right, so we're, along this line, they're all 1. And along this line, they're kind of going to look like this. They're going to have a value of positive 2, so a bit steeper. But that suggests that, again, all the solutions will kind of flow towards this, you see? And this is how you can do a wholesale sketch of a slow field. Please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.